Hello and welcome to the Talking Shrimp Podcast. My name is Mitchell Lewin and you are? Hello, I am Joel May. Thank you very much for joining me on episode 40. It is, we've made it to the big 4-0. That's it, we've been here every single episode. Look, yeah. we've done it, we've made it. And we it. hope you have too. I think that's like, well, it's over half a year now, but technically we're halfway through a year. Yep. Tomorrow. Yep. Tomorrow. We'll yeah. be halfway through the year. Yep. Yeah. Wow, look so at us. So happy look halfway us. through the year day. We're almost one. Yeah, we're doing well. Yeah. We're still going. We are still going. We are, we are still We've been here all the way and trucking we hope along. you've enjoyed it so far. So yeah, one step, one foot in front of the other. Yeah, one step closer to heaven. How, how are you? Means one step closer. Sorry, yeah, I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm feeling a bit down today on date of recording, but I don't really know why. Okay. No real reason behind it. Just I just feel a bit like one of those days. Meh. It's just it's just one of those days. Yeah. <laughs> As Papa Roach say, I'm pretty sure that's who that is. Yeah. It's either yeah or Limp Biscuit. Yeah. Oh, I think it might be like biscuit. Anyway, biscuit, yeah. yeah. It's just, I, I don't know. Just one of those days. We went to Tesco before and I was just sort of like, it was just one of them where I like I could just fall to the floor. Yeah, yeah, I get that. The way you just, you know, like we didn't really want to go and get anything, um, but just to go for it. Oh no, see what's happening oh. now. Oh no. He's just throwing his phone at me. I just, ah, I, I, wasn't even, oh. I wasn't even on my phone. I literally just put my hand down on the on the chair yeah. and knocked my phone to the floor. I told you, it's just one of those days. Yeah, it's not ghosts. It oh. is one of those days. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we thought we'd give you a bit of an update. We did a mental health um, specific podcast uh, around January time, end of you know, yeah, last year. Yeah, I think it was end of December. It was just yeah. before Christmas, I believe. Yeah, so we thought we'd give you a bit of an update um, on how everything's going and how this year is treating us so far. So, um in the months that have, have passed, Mitchell Lewin, uh, from January to June, which is tomorrow, um, how, how like, how, do you think you've, you've improved in, you know, not goals that you've set, but in, in you know, your, your head space or mind space about yourself or, or not? Well, uh, to be fair, if I, I, my, my, my memory's not very good. An audience, correct me if you've been listening all the way back from January time. But I'm sure in the new year, I sort of said that, like, I don't want to set myself... New Year's resolutions. Mm. I just wanted to like slowly work through things. Yeah, I I think we agreed and on that the New Year's resolutions was a bit of a um how do you put it? Not a silly thing to do, but it's always a bit of a push. It's always a bit of a if you don't achieve it, it's always a downer. Yeah. Whereas, like you said, if if you just plod towards it and you know keep going with your head above the water, then it's good. Yeah, well that's it. And I I, I remember sort of saying like along the lines of like I, my goal this year isn't to lose weight, like because every year I'm like oh you know I want to lose weight, I want to get fitter, I want to be that person in yeah. the gym on in January first. And I, I I've tried that. And I'm, I I just wasn't fussed on being that person. I, I set myself sort of like goals in my head, like try and visit more countries. Yeah. Learn a language, some other things like that. I, I remember sort of making a bit of a list. I've yeah. got it somewhere. So but not like they weren't like specific. They were just ones that you wanted to try to to do. Yeah, so it was very much like a trying. Like it wasn't like a forced thing. It wasn't a forced list, but it was like a mental note, just of like this would yeah. be nice to try and do before the end of the year. Yeah, like try and work towards this. And to be fair, I would say for the first couple of months, I didn't really do anything. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I, I don't know. I, I would say over the last. Six months, six months, six weeks to two months. It's been like a big push. I've, I, yeah, I don't know. Mental change for me. I don't know what happened. Mm. I just sort of had like a, I don't know, a, a kick up, a kick up my own ass sort of thing. Like I was like, I just, I don't know. I give up fizzy drink. I, I give up alcohol. I give up like eating crap all the time and tried to stop, not stop takeaways, but have less takeaways. Yeah. Um, yeah. It I wasn't was it, like a, uh, like thing that you were doing like in uh like too much before it was just the thing that like you want to change like your way about going with stuff sort yeah. of thing yeah i mean like i know i know you stopped fizzy drinking and stuff but you weren't excessively doing it it was just oh, I, I don't know no i disagree i was drinking a lot of fizzy drinks really yeah yeah do you not remember i'd go to like tesco and buy like i iron brew i mean that's the perfect example yeah, i haven't true. mentioned iron brew probably in about three weeks four weeks yeah um, and that's a good point, yeah. Yeah, and I, like, as much as I really want an iron brew, I'm not breaking having a fizzy drink. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, I, it's just... No, I get that. I, I don't know, like, I was going to the gym and stuff. I mean, I've been going to the gym now for probably about a year or so, just over. And I, I, I was going to the gym for no reason. Like, I'd go and do weights, I'd swim, I'd use a sauna. 
Yeah, but now you actually but, have like that. that yeah, goal but now and... I've got that like push. I don't know. It, like I had a flick of the switch at like what's the fourth month? January, February, March, April, April, start of April. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I was just like, I need to do a run, and that's it. And yeah, but sometimes that's just what happens, isn't it? Like yeah. nothing, no, no, in, no one influences it, or <coughs> or seeing anything influences it. It's just you. Yeah, it's just a so mental change, like you said. That's it. So I just like did a run on like Thursday, the fourth of April, I believe it was. Yeah, just did a run on that day, and um took note of it in my app i started a thing called discipline runs nice. where in my head i was just like don't use the motivation of this run mm. to just have this push now like be disciplined not yeah. motivated yeah so in my head like i was like yeah, yeah i was like it's almost like work in a way where you're like because you've got to do it it's not like in your head you're motivated to do it like there's that change in yeah like you said it, it's more of a discipline side of it yeah, because I, I think if me, like everyone, if, if do you see what I'm trying to say there, if me, like everyone else, they have this burst of motivation to do something, like, oh, get fit, yeah, I'm going to go for a run today, and then next week I'll be sat on a sofa with a chippy. Yeah, well, I, that's the, a lot of the, the news resolution, isn't it? Yeah, like, I'm going to get fitter, and that's, and that's what happens. And, and I think that was the mindset I had coming into this year, which I don't think I really noticed until that day. Yeah. And I just did a run. I was like, oh, do you know what? Yeah, I'm going to be one of them people. I'm going to get into running. Yeah. And that's what I did. And then on that Thursday, I went for another run and then slowly built it up. And, and then from there, as I said, I give up fizzy drinks. And hmm. fizzy drinks were my downfall. And the reason I have give up alcohol as well, not that I was a massive alcohol drinker prior, hmm. is I didn't want alcohol to be my, like... Swap. Swap, yeah. You know, yeah. I'd, like, like, I'd get to the end of the week and be like, oh, yeah, I feel like a treat now. Which I've had that a few times, and or like come home at like in the evening. I'm like, oh, I could really have like a, a cider now, which I, you know, I think that's probably just because I'm fancying it. But, and also the weather's got better. I'd yeah, say as well. and I didn't want that to be the replacement. I yeah. didn't want the alcohol to be the replacement for the fizzy drink, which I think it might have become. Yeah, it's a good possibility. So yeah. I just give it all up. Didn't do it all. Uh, yeah. Do you then, think that the Going back to what I said with like the with the weather change, because you said about in the last month, I I do think that's play, maybe played a part with like wanting to get outside more, not necessarily running, just mm. more active, and that that's like increased in in your head, even if it's like subconsciously. I think that's a a, a factor in it. Possibly. I mean, I did start playing football as well. I, I yeah, I but would no one slightly, wants to go for a run if it's rain or whatever. But I don't or, tend to you know. go for a run many runs outside. I go do them indoors on the. Track. I know, but when you said when it kick started, yeah, possibly, you know. possibly. I mean, like everyone's just in a better mood and mindset generally, and yeah, as the yeah. weather gets nicer. Although it's been a very up and down couple of months weather wise. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah I, I don't know. I just m- mindset change all that lot, and with the change in the, the the drinks, and then I started meal prepping and all that lot, and just drinking water. Honestly, I keep saying it. Drinking water. I, I have been having electrolytes as well, which... I, I, I was going to say, I've, I've heard hit and miss with electrolytes. I've heard good and bad things with them. I've heard they're going to be the new thing for people trying to get fit. Yeah, but I, I've heard a lot of, like, positive... A, bit, a, a little bit like, um... Any, anything, like... Not, yeah, not, any not like, drug something. enhancing or anything yeah. like that, but a similar sort of, like, good and bad things. You yeah, know, that's it. I mean, I think within reason they're good. I, I've been yeah. having one every morning because i would always wake up very dehydrated yeah and because that's what it targets isn't it yeah but or basically mentally. what i learned is water doesn't rehydrate you it just rehydrates your body sort yeah. of thing i know that sounds really stupid but electrolytes rehydrate your whole body and rehydrate mm. you yeah uh so well, if that's why like, they say like you know when you go you know when you like you, you'll go in water and then you, your skin will feel drier after yeah, because it's yeah. not like the water isn't going in your skin type thing. Like, yeah, it's not, it's That's not... you get like pruny fingers. Or yeah, kind yeah. of. Or like when you have a dry cider. Yeah, yeah. So in in a it's... stupid way. No, I get what you're saying. Do you know it's... what I mean? It's, yeah, it's yeah. not like that. Yeah. So, but I, then I... if it works like that, especially in the morning, it can really kick your day. That's it. So I, I just yeah, in the morning I have it. I have one if I not every run, but every now and then. Mm. Like when I'm playing football, I'll have one. So I'd never have more than two a day. And on the days I have two, it's when I do like a bigger run or yeah, as sweat loads, replace- not replacement, but a, a, as a um, a boost sort of thing. It'll yeah, that's it, basically. Yeah, so levels. that and honestly, just water and replacing water with fizzy drinks. I try yeah. and get at least three liters of water in every day, and that is the yeah. biggest difference, I'd say. Yeah, I, I've got to be honest. Yeah, I, I agree with you with uh, water and replacing it for 
I, I've tried to replace like the fizzy drinks in the week, and then I'll have fizzy drinks more. As like um, a treat. Yeah, because I think I got to the point. Not not that like uh, with the headaches that I've I've noticed because I used to have a lot of Pepsi Max that gave I thought gave me headaches because of the caffeine because it's less sugar in it, which is great but obviously mm. the, the replacement is caffeine so i think that's maybe half of it and then re- replacing them in the week i've also noticed that i enjoy pepsi max more because you're not having it yeah regularly for, for the listeners the who didn't way. know you give it up as well didn't you you give up yeah i did it as like a bet to be honest couple of weeks wasn't it Three, yeah yeah weeks, it was, i think it was no it's for a month it was for no exactly no i'm not i'm not having you i say it was a month what do you mean? it was it, exactly a month it wasn't a month it was exactly a month no 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 it wasn't it was i'm not having you say a month no it was because i didn't have the on the last day of the month when i was like oh well now i could do it i left it to the end of that week so it was the exactly a month okay if I you did that then i will agree it was a month yeah, but i, I didn't have we didn't it. start on the start of a month and i thought you had your first drink no no but i i made sure it was exactly 31 okay. days there we go well there we are Fair but enough. anyway but, well, point being is i saw a difference and then i've made the adaptation change into like a me a, a, a middle ground for myself that like you said it's it's that treat i'm not giving it up and i'll have it you know if we go to a gig or something like that i might um have that or a meal because i don't like fucking around with with other things necessarily that, that's the best yeah, way we, I put we, it like yeah. well, I, I don't want to change what i like but i want to change it into to keep it as i like it because i was just i was just having Pepsi Max for the sake of having it yeah, but now I'd have maybe like you know change up, have maybe a Vimto, a squash, have some water, have a cup of tea, yeah. something just no, different. I, I would say like we are pretty, me and you are pretty good. Like, um, I know people in the past have said because we go to a lot of gigs, they think we're yes, of a we, sort and t- a certain certain yeah, we drink type, a lot and things drink like that, and but drugs and that, stuff. We, but we 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 don't, we really no, don't. I could probably tell you on on one hand how many times I've drank at a gig. I yeah. Yeah, I genuinely same, think I could. Probably not. Not many. No, it would usually one five, of us. One of us will dr- drive, and yeah. usually it's on a work night, and the other one will be like, "Well, what's the point?" Yeah, I, there's no real point. I don't think either of us are massive drinkers, really. No, no, no. no. I would say our the most we drank at a gig technically is Reading last year at Reading. Yeah, that's the most we've drank at a gig. Did? If you want to go like that, you did. Well, you drank more than me. I don't think I drank that much. I I had a few red wines to be fair. Yeah, and ciders and stuff. Yeah, 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 but I think that was just because, to be honest, I didn't really get drunk at Reading because you just no, sweat it out. Exactly. No, I didn't either. I <laughs> so didn't again, it. it's kind of pointless. Exactly. Same as a gig. If you go and buy, you know, let's say you have a couple of points at a gig, you may as well just go and buy a t-shirt. Literally, and then you can keep the t-shirt. <laughs> exactly. So, so you know. Yeah. No, it is that, isn't it? And no, I, I, yeah. like, I'm. You did well, to be fair. I'm, I've got to be honest. I didn't think you were going to do it. No, I, I did it primarily as a bet, but also just to see how my body adapted to it. And I had a week of bad headaches the first week because I think my body was kind of going through a bit of withdrawal. Like what's to happened? Honest. Yeah, where's yeah. all the fizzy like <laughs> sugary and I didn't, drinks? I didn't and stuff. have like anything to compensate for it, like tea, coffee, whatever, caffeine. Yeah. So in order to do so, I started just you know water and squash and stuff, and then I branched into add more teas and um like squash and and juices and stuff like that which is fine no fizzy um but now yeah i just have it mainly at the weekends like on a friday i'll go to the shop after work have one have it at the weekend and um enjoy it more as have, you, putting it. have you noticed okay hold on maybe rewind obviously you said then that the first week you noticed you'd get headaches yeah did they stop after that yeah after or after a week less. of almost like a, a cleanse but those headaches were probably worse than when it was like yeah yeah, well whilst i'm i'm having it anyway so Hmm. yeah but now i've i have it as like that tree i don't get them because it's like a one-off thing it's like you know drinking and you're not having like a withdrawal from it because it's it's fine your body's not used to so i think in that way that's that adaptation is good because i've made that middle ground which i'm happy i think that's good honestly really good Yeah. yeah That's it, and that's what I've like. Because you've kind of made that middle ground because you found that other thing that through electrolytes. Well, not just electrolytes, just like to be honest, mate, you haven't got time for a fizzy drink. What do in you mean? one, your diet, and two, time itself with like going yeah. to the gym and stuff. Yeah. And no, why would you take a fizzy drink unless it's maybe Lucas Aid into the gym? No one will. No, no. So that's what I'm saying, or a monster or something. But what I'm saying is like you, you just it doesn't even come into your head, sort of thing with with the lifestyle change. No, there, there's only been, yeah. I, I would never, yeah. Could you? It's not you, crossed my mind really to have one. I, there's only been like yeah, exactly. once or twice. There was like a Friday, like a week, like a couple of weeks ago, when I was home alone, and I was like, oh, oh, I, could, I really... could really have a Fanta right now. Because <laughs> yeah. they, they were in the cupboard. Uh, I, there was like See, a that's whole hard a bit. Big like box of Fantas, yeah. like eighteen cans of Fanta. Yeah, and I was like, oh, 
fuck yeah, I can absolutely <laughs> wash back a can of Fanta right now. Yeah. But I was yeah. like, I don't I don't want to. No, I, I So agree. I made yeah. a glass of cranberry juice, a whole glass of cranberry juice. Yes, I know that's probably not amazing. But Yeah, but it's I well it's better. Yeah, to be fair, there's not like yeah. Yeah, but I would say it's, that's a better treat than... Yeah, I buy the no added sugar cranberry juice, which I know there's probably quite a bit of sugar in cranberry juice anyway, but calorie-wise, not a lot. And to be fair, I really enjoy cranberry juice. Cold out of yeah. the fridge. It's not so bad. It's really that's, not bad. That's like my replacement and stuff. Yeah. I, I'm... I mean, this episode's coming out on the 31st of May. Mm-hmm. In literally two days' time, I'm running... Uh, cancer research. I won't yeah. say much more on it this episode because there will be a video coming out on Wednesday, I believe. If not, it'll be the following Wednesday. So yeah, um, keep an eye out for that on Wednesday. If you want to donate, please hit the link in the bio. I'll keep it open for a bit. Nice. And please watch the video. But I will stop talking about... Uh, well, I might come back to it, diet and stuff. But yeah. yeah. Uh, how are you? I will ask how are you. Um, yeah, I, I've got into... I, I had about a week or so recently of um, basically being pissed off with a lot of people uh, over a lot of sort of similar things. And it's kind of like... A contrast to what you were talking about because i think i feel like i've had quite a lot of people go on about health and changing in themselves like i'm talking quite a lot like probably like seven to eight people individually mm. telling yeah. me about themselves and stuff like that so uh, to be honest I'm i i them. i've kind of <laughs> i've one of them people yeah and i kind of got a bit fed up with it and i i kind of went on a bit of a right fuck this like I, I know that I don't want to do this mm. for myself. Like I don't want to go to the gym. I don't want to do running. I don't want to change. Like I've made an adaptation in my diet to suit me, mm. not every other fucker. So the best way in my head is is that I've got that in my head now. So, um, in in the last week, I have um called the doctors about something that I want to change. Too far. I didn't even know this. No, you didn't. Uh, and it's not not anything massive, but basically, uh, flying. Okay. Get on a yeah, plane yeah, yeah. and flying somewhere uh, is something that I would love to do. I, mm. I, I, but on paper, is fantastic. I really, really enjoyed it. And when w- I've gone on the only plane that I've ever gone on to Barcelona and back, I really enjoyed it. It was really, really good. Um, but I, I struggled with the anxiety, and in my head, I couldn't. You, ca- I can't comprehend how high you actually are in my head. Like I, I physically can't. Uh, like is that get what, around it is that what it is for you you're just thinking it's in the height head, it's, it's how it's the high actual you are. comparison yeah because i'm i'm well probably worse than heights than you are actually oh, no yeah, I, I am are, worse heights than you yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. um and i yeah i i really struggle so anyway i called the doctor and i have, have got an appointment to um sort out hopefully some medication to basically just knock me out mm. because that's what i would i want to get on a plane this year and I want to enjoy going on holiday like every other person does, but I can't right now. Yeah. So going to the doctor and speaking about some sort of medication to help that um, is is good. So what would the end goal from this be for you? Doing that. Go, Have some sort of medication and... that literally knocks you completely out or no, just to... makes you drowsy or what? What? Like I, I really don't mind. I think it's just to like have you, have you anything done, like... really now. I think I'm like... Scraping the barrel. <laughs> yeah. Have you done any research in so, what they sort things they prescribe? Because I'd be uh, interested to see. A few bits see. and bobs and stuff. But I mean, it's it's going to obviously be under like short term medication and yeah. stuff like that. But I, I, I would just I be, don't know. I suppose I'll, hopefully we'll find out. But I, I'd just be interested to see what their idea of this would be to describe what what they can do prescribe to you. That's what that's what I was thinking. But I think it's the best people to talk to about it um, yeah i mean and to be honest i'm i'm go. kind of done with talking to other people about it because as much as people have helped they haven't no because i think i've i've got that much things in my head or people will say uh like have you like looked into like you know how have you looked into how many plane crashes a year and stuff like that? and i'm like that's not gonna help me no. what, what i need to help me is something yeah, like some a some physical thing rather than yeah, verbal, like just talking about it. yeah. So you know that that's my my goal anyway. But that that's something that I want to change this year. That I think is, if I can get that done, I mean, you know, it opens up a whole can of worms for going anywhere. Then yeah, it doesn't matter. We, we we I mean, not that this is like end of the world thing. I'm just rambling on about something else. But we've spoke mm. about doing like videos abroad and yeah, yeah, definitely and. and 
doing yeah, traveling even videos. Just, like and... you said, just exploring and like you said, taking countries off. Yeah. That's like I'm fed well. up. I don't want to like in, in my head, I don't want to go into any country in Europe via the Eurostar, yeah. drive down to London, spend eight you know, loads of money on that. When you look at how cheap flights are. Yeah. If you can get the right flight. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, that's, that's kind of something that's in my head at the moment, but not to have a go at people, but I've, I've just had loads of voices, I think, and it hasn't helped me in a lot of different things in terms of everything. Yeah, like everyone's kind of like, not, not on. Un- it's not that they're not understanding what I'm trying to say. It's like they're they're trying to help, but uh, it's not that they're not helping because they do with flying. You're on about well, not just that, just in general. I think right. the same going back to like a lot of the health stuff. Yeah, and I know with the fizzy, fizzy drinks, it was a bet. Yeah. But that's the only reason that I did it. Yeah. I really don't care what anyone else does. Yeah. And that yeah. sounds bad because I'm very proud about you doing what you're doing. Can, can I pick a bone with you, though? Hit me. Go for it. When you said that a couple of weeks ago, that yeah. you didn't want to hear any more about people doing running and stuff, yeah. I took it upon myself to not talk about it to you anymore. No. I agree. And I was slightly annoyed at you for saying it because I was very proud of how far I'd come. Yeah, but that, that... And in my head, I was like, I know Joel doesn't want to hear it. So I had like gone out of my way not to tell you things so i'm just slowly bringing it back in and i'm not doing that now as much but yeah i'm just making you aware That's no all. no i completely agree with you and it's not that i'm not proud of you or any sort of thing with that i think it's i, I could deal with you hmm. it's just that i had cheers every... <laughs> no no I it's just that i had no, more no. people saying about it yeah, like, I, I'm not I, kidding I you. There was so much, I don't know why everyone just went you know through what? like a health I, thing. I can't. I, I completely <clears throat> agree. I don't know what's happened. I don't know like, why, since yeah. the start of April. Yeah, every fucker and their dog are running. Yeah, yeah. I but don't not, know not even just happened. that. Like, like you said, saying about like electrolytes or just saying loads of different stuff. Yeah. And it's like it, it, you haven't done this because you just say it as like a a thing that's happened in your life. But yeah. you won't come to me and say, oh, mate, you need to try these electrolytes. No, you that's... Need to, I, yeah, you need to do I that. Tried not to and do I'm that. just fed up with it. Like, I'm, I literally... I, I'm too nice to turn around and say, fuck off. Yeah, you I don't, don't care want... about trying things. <clears throat> yeah, because the yeah, minute, like... To be fair, I'm, I'm kind of glad you clarified that because I feel like I've not been going to you, mate, try these electrolytes. No, you haven't at all. I've just been you've like, just I've been, been saying, doing this. You've just been saying, like... Um, it's been making me feel better. I've been yeah, doing like this. how I've you been feel, which this. is fine. I don't mind yeah. that at all. But um, to a degree, obviously, if I was bragging all the like all yeah, the time, oh mate, oh, today, today, this, 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 this. Yeah, yeah. I know I'm talking quite a lot about running stuff at the minute, but I am trying to. No, I don't think plug you the are. video I've, as well. No, no, yeah. no, I don't think you are. But I think, um, yeah, going back to the whole thing with like other people, I, I don't know. Like you said, I don't know what it is. I've at the got two ideas in my head of what it could be. Go on. The first one is the London Marathon happened not that long ago. True, yeah. Which, to be fair, did, I think, could have been in my head for a slight bit of the reason. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And the second one, I think, partly for my one, mm. of why I've started running, and it could be for others, mm. is Gus. Oh, the Gus Cook, Cook on um, the, the, Twitter. Twit. Yeah, the hardest geezer. Oh. The one who just run... Um, I think the other guy who... Uh, is no, he from you, Hull? Hull, the guy running... Yeah, like, sorry, yeah. Okay. But no, fair... I mean, and, and him, to be fair. Yeah. He's doing yeah. well. I don't... But I mean, though, it's sort but, of everywhere, isn't it? Yeah, really? Rusk... Did yeah. I say Gus? Yeah. Oh, I meant Russ Cook, Russ sorry. Cook, yeah. The hardest geezer doing <clears throat> the length yeah. of Africa. That, to be oh, fair, fair inspired, inspired me a lot, to be fair. Yeah. Because I, I remember him starting that, all the, what, 300 and... Yeah. However many days it was before, and then trying to keep up with it on Twitter, and... Yeah. A guy that I watch on YouTube... Um, who's a good mate of his would update regularly about him doing it and stuff and like yeah I think that and a few other things are probably why possibly yeah because like that said. was everywhere wasn't it? <clears throat> yeah but more on a personal note I don't know why I don't know a lot of people have, have said you know, yeah I mean I don't know cause it's like it's, I, I feel like a lot of people are trying to change my life and I'm pretty content to be honest do I, you think they're I, trying I, to change your life what I you feel like it I feel like it. Maybe maybe that they're not, but I, yeah. I feel like some people with how that they have, have said to me about yeah. certain things, it's more pushy than not. To be fair, I could have been like that with the fizzy drinks and stuff. But I think maybe I don't I, think you have. I think like you've you've No, I don't think you have. I, I think thought, I think honest. I might have because I was doing <laughs> it as well as you. So I was sort of like I mean you started egging. before I did. Yeah. And yeah. I I like I said I only did it for a bit. Yeah. But, um Yeah. I mean that's fair enough. I, I don't know. It's not bad, but it's it's again. It's like me, like it, it. My my actual thing that I want changing is like I said, the flights. Yeah. But like it wasn't that no one's listening to me. It's just like what can they do? No offense. I don't mean that as <clears> no, a, no no not like, that. I mean like they they think that like 
I don't know, like, I want to, oh, I'm, I must want to do running, or I must want to do this or do that, and I'm like, but I don't. Yeah. And I can say, but I don't as many times as I like. Yeah. But they're, they're still going listening. on about it. <laughs> yeah, they're not a little bit. To it. Yeah. So it's not like, no, no, I'm well proud of you for what you're doing. And I think, like, I... I, I don't know, like, you, like you said, you're you're not out there to, like, achieve a goal as such. It's yeah. to kind of, like, uh, not maintain anything either, just, like, improve you. Yeah. Really? To, 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 yeah. I, I, how do I, yeah. I, what am I trying to say? I, I didn't start this with the intention of telling other people. Yeah. But how it sort of just played out is that, because we were doing Talking Shrimp, I was like, oh, I can make a good video. Well, no. My, my my mind was do running, running. I'm enjoying running, and then I, I need an end goal. I need something in... to look forward to. Yeah, I was so like, oh, what what can I sign up for? There was like park runs every Saturday. I was like, yeah, every Saturday's a. I'd just you know I'd miss one and forget about it. Yeah, so I was like, oh, what can I sign up for? So I looked it online. It sounds so selfish, but I never signed up for cancer research. Yeah, intending to make a lot of money to to raise money. Yeah, well, no, it was, it was more of a like. Like a, goal a goal for me because you did you did two weeks pretty much solid and you were really d- going well at it and then I remember you saying not along the lines of that but like you were thinking about like what you said do? doing something like yeah. a 5k yeah and then obviously the next I heard was that you'd sign up for that yeah so and then obviously yeah. I set like the goal was 50 quid on the, the yeah. funding page and that's just blown yeah. up four times but I also it. don't think but... that you've you've done the whole thing of like um, I I want to do a marathon, and it's like yeah, a huge I, goal. Like yeah, it's I can't do that. it's five k locally for a good cause that will help you out as well. Yeah, well that's it. That, it no, but it's, it's a good thing. It's, it, you're not it's pushing yourself like that's, that's ridiculous. I mean. Yeah, that's it. You're still gonna like because after you've you've done that run, you're gonna keep going. I hope. Yeah. I yeah, but that's the thing. Like not not as a like oh well now I want to do ten k. It's just like a mm. a, a maintenance I, I that you know really don't know what I'm gonna do. Like in my head, I was like. Yeah, I'll carry on. But the other part of me is like, yeah, I might move on to something else. I might try cycling. I might do something else. Yeah. yeah but yeah. we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, as I said, I'm talking a lot about running. I know it's everything in my head that's going on at the minute running-wise. But Yeah. Yeah. That's no, good. I'm, I am really proud of you for doing it. I think Cheers. I like... I just I just want to focus on something that means something, something to me. To you, exactly. Like you had. Like I've <clears throat> like I'm doing with this now. Yeah, yeah. That's I it. Think, yeah. My thing with yours, it's almost more like... Like people see yours, yeah, sort of thing, and you can I you agree. can tell people like more like people would just go, oh yeah, to you, yeah. Whereas if I do it, they're like, but why? Why? Yeah, sort of thing. Can I can I ask this in a maybe open ended question? That no, might be a no to. Is there other things that you're like worrying about other than just flying? Because I don't think personally, uh, I don't think that's the main thing on your forefront of your mind all the time. I think like th- this year, I said like in my head, I was like. I want to get a few more tattoos and I want to go on a proper holiday. Mm. For what? Like, I've never done a, a... I mean, we went to Barcelona, but I, I'd i almost class that as a city break. Yeah, that more. is a city break. So, so I... A holiday I, break. Yeah, I literally said, I was like, I want to just get on a plane, go sit at a beach, get drunk for, for a week and come home. Yeah, fair do. Um, which I've never done. So yeah, that that's like my, not goal, but it's just something that I wanted to do. So I think out of the two, a t- tattoo's fine, but the... Um, Why a tattoo? That, there's no like... Well, um, I, I I put it off for years, and right. then I got one uh, last year, and so I I had it in my head. I was like, oh, I'll get a few by the end of the year, and I just keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. Mm. So I thought, well, if I just have it in my head that at some point this year I want Can to. Can I ask for why you want more toes? I like him. You do, yeah. Okay, yeah, I just, I just no, really like him. Uh, no, no real like reason, and just you like having. No, them. yeah, and I mean the tattoos that I have, like there are kind of reasons to it. Yeah, but that's my point with like I, I just like want like so, like I said I just wanted it to be more personal to me and at this stage in my life that's what I want mm, fair deeds so okay, you know, I respect that. I just been fed up with a lot of like other people it yeah. sounds really really selfish and really like like a knobhead to say but I just want to focus on me a bit and be a bit but more then selfish I think that's what everyone's doing at the minute yeah but that's a, a lot of the people who like you said are doing that I feel like are kind of pushing it on me in some ways, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm maybe biased, but I don't think they are. I think they're just no, happy I... to gloat about it, like I'm doing. And I think maybe like I'm no, not no, because saying... a lot, of, some other people are saying try this, or, try that, do this, or do that, heavy, yeah. heavy, da, da, da. But then I'm there, like, but I'm not interested in this. Yeah, okay. And it sounds Very bad, good. say it's you know, 
It's like me trying to convince my mum to go to the town games. She doesn't like football, so she's not going to so go. So what's the point of me going on about it? Yeah, yeah. But they're not listening to... like. It's like me not listening to that first bit where she's gone, I don't like football. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. that's a dead idea, isn't it? It's... But then that is that... Do they know about the flying thing? Or... No, but... It, so it, why are they trying to promote it onto you? They just they just because. I think it's just not, not grasping that I... Don't, don't give care. a shit. <laughs> yeah, it, basically. Really. It sounds really, really harsh, but I, I'm trying to be blunt with it because it's as simple as that. Yeah. I don't want to run. I don't want to spend my money at a gym, personally, for me. Yeah, no, that's fair. Um, and I've got other things in, in my life that I want to put like effort in instead. Mm. That's all it is. It's nothing bad. It's just, I don't want to do what you're doing, and that's fine. Yeah, that is fine. And that yeah. is, yeah, I can't really say a lot more other than that is fine. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, it's like like sounds really bad, but I would the only reason I would do a run with you, for example, is like the five k. Like I wouldn't do any any training, nothing like that. I would just do like a video with you and be like, I haven't done any training. Mitch's done a load of training. Mm. I'm gonna give five k a go purely for one a video and two because I can't be asked to do all the training. Yeah, fair. Like enough. I just want to do that. But then I suppose you you would be more interested in doing like football, which is weird because yeah, I was gonna no, message I agree. you today or yeah. tomorrow and say, do you want to go play football or whatever? Yeah. Yeah, but no, um, that's that's it. Like, I, I think I have to have something. Yeah, uh, because I, because personally, I don't like running because there's no. It's fucking point. boring. Yeah, in my head, it, like it's, it, it is. I'm yeah, like it that's is. That's why a lot of people go swimming because yeah. it's more enjoyable. Wow, well, no, I guess boring too. Yeah, but like it, it's like a lot of people say that sort of yeah, thing. Like a lot of yeah. people say running's yeah, it's good, but that yeah. yeah. No, I, I agree. To be fair, with like. Uh, yeah, it's the same with everything, isn't it? But the best way of putting it is that I don't think you've turned into like one of those running knobheads that just go on about running and that's all their life is. And they, like, not brag about it, but it's it's just like, like that's that's their persona then. Yeah. Whereas you are, like, every time you've said about running, to me, it's either been about the 5K and yeah. that, like, oh, for the video or Talking Shrimp, which, again, isn't really you. Yeah. Like, you're doing it for Talking Shrimp, which... Mm. It's great, and you're doing the running anyway. So combine the two, fantastic. But the other thing that you'd say is, like you said, you know, oh, I've tried this electro. It's just like an update. It's nothing yeah. bad. It's it's just like how you're feeling, which I, is fine. I, I will agree with you, but I subconsciously have been talking about it fucking nonstop and talking shrimp. Yeah, but you don't. My like, life you... is literally just talking. Oh shrimp yeah, and this running is... at the minute. Like, That's all I'm doing. Oh, I know. If if I could choose like between like like I said, tattoo, flying, whatever, or talking shrimp. Talking Shrimp's number one. Yeah. It, it trumps everything. I, yeah. I, I don't know what it is. It's all that's constantly on my head at the minute. This, yeah. This. This. What you're listening to right now. Yeah, I love it. I absolutely love this. And, and I and, want this to do well. And, like, I'm going to be that soppy knobhead now and just say, if you are, you've made it, like, 30 minutes into this episode. Yeah. And you've listened to every single other episode. Honestly, thank you. Like, and Yeah, I, we will write to you personally and yeah, say, say thank you. We are nobodies and we don't have many listeners and we are... You know, no, but uh, this, we are trying. I'm gonna say this right now. Like, I, I had it in my head that the start of year, I had a goal and like whatever followers were, anything like that. I don't care anymore, but I want this to be it. What do you mean? I want this to be our, our, that's it. I don't care. I, like, I don't care about anything else in life. This trumps it, everything. It's good, isn't it? As, as a future like prospect it is good i know it we, is. Said, we said a few weeks ago like we did the 100 well it was last week we did the 100 questions if someone told me i had to, like if someone was like you have stopped talking shrimp i like, i'd go to drastic extents to not yeah to find out why well, and not even just that a i would way around it yeah but like i i don't want this to stop i don't want this to all. stop i want this to be like a brand i want this to be a huge thing as big as like prime and stuff i want this to go that far oh my god i mean yeah i would too I'm no like, but that's what i mean yeah. i want this to go far i want this to become it. I want people to know Talking Shrimp in their head. So what are you saying? You want a serial called uh, well, s- second best? We can't We can't do cereal. We'd have to do like seafood. We could do cereal. Shrimps. We, we'll open up a... Uh, shrimp crackers. What, yeah, we'll open up a restaurant called Shrimps. Yep. Uh, we'll have products in Tesco. Five shrimps. We'll open up a vodka company. Muck shrimps. Yeah, we'll do a... Burger shrimps. Juicy. Yeah, I... I, I, honestly, Shrimp this, hut. yeah, I'll f- full circle what I'm saying. I know I say full circle, no, no, go on. but this has honestly probably improve, improved my mental state. Oh yeah, tenfold, sure. massively. I, yeah, like to be fair, I think that's why I've been a bit shitty of a mood today. 
mm. because I've just had nothing to do. Like, yeah, we're pretty like it sounds really shit to say. I fucking love doing the editing. I love fucking around with all like getting everything ready, doing the posts and all that shit. And today it's been a like I'm gonna date this podcast. It's, it's a Saturday currently for us recording this. Yeah, I've done fuck all today, and that has really annoyed me. Yeah, but you said to me. When I got it, and we, we both were like, we want to do something to talking shrimp tonight, yeah. but we don't know what. Yeah. But that's the only thing that we both had in our heads that we yeah. want to do, and that we, to be honest, could be asked to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Like, I was waiting for you to get here. I mean, you got to my house at 7 o'clock. We're currently recording this episode at 22 10, 11. 22 11, yeah. <laughs> um, we recorded a few podcasts, and then we went to Tesco, as you said. Yeah. And this is the best part of my day. Oh, 100%. Yeah. This has been the... Yeah. Not the best part of my weekend. I really enjoyed... No, but, time. like, it, it's... Yeah, it's a really good feel thing. Like, even having the stuff out and recording things, it's really good. And that's what I mean. And I know, like, I say this... Um, I, I hate saying stuff like this. I know there's not many people listening to this. And I, you know, wish that there were more. But yeah. that's why I'm just saying, if, like, you're at this point of this episode coming out... Oh, we are that, so grateful. Honestly, thank you. Because... Yeah, you 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 people listen to this now, like doesn't give us reason to do this. No, I, do I, anyway. I would do it with no listeners. It sounds bad, but it would make me question it if we had no one listening to it. Yeah, true. Yeah, because um, then we'd think, what's the point in doing all this? For yeah, yeah. Stuff. But that's what I'm saying. Like, please, 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 please. If you enjoy listening to us, you enjoy um, the videos on YouTube, anything, anything part of our content, yeah, TikTok, TikTok, stupid photos, funny gifts, whatever. whatever. Please tell people because we want more of a reason to do this. Well, I do, and for us mentally, personally, this is massive. Oh, and if huge. we can help yeah. you from us doing this by you just watching it and enjoying yeah. our content, that is class. Yeah, like if if you tell told me after a hard long day at, uh, week at work, we need to do a podcast. Um, so run over to my house on Friday before it comes out to record it, and then go sleep and get up for a town game perfect weekend yeah it really would i be. mean i wouldn't want to leave a podcast to no be i know but what i'm saying released, is like that's yeah, how important fair. it would be i'd be like yeah sure i yeah, don't care anymore like, yeah no problem at all that's it and um, honestly all all me and joel talk about is the minute is what can we do for talking shrimp what video ideas can we yeah do? what ideas have you got what, what what content do you want have you done a tiktok today yeah don't talk to me today because i want to talk i want yeah. like hold that for the podcast <laughs> yeah and yeah, yeah. to be fair it sounds fucking mental and sometimes i'm like why do we do this? But then, I, like, it's the, it's the enjoyment from it. Yeah. I mean, I, me. I, I've, I've said loads on the podcast. Like, uh, I've got this opinion. I don't care what you think. Yeah. I really don't care what people think. Mm. I like doing this, and I like having, you know, an opinion. So, because I think a lot of the time I am maybe too nice in in real life, so it's I don't nice voice to... the opinion. Yeah. So on here, it's nice because I yeah. think we both are in a way. We're too Definitely. nice, and we just nod. Yeah. And. I fucking hate it sometimes. Like yeah. I, I become so worn out by it, and so you keep it all to yourself. Where now getting it all out here, like I, I walk away from your house, and I'm like, oh, like we've just so much shit better like, for like the past, yeah. yeah or like you just go away and like, oh, that was a good one today. Yeah, like little things, but it, it's really good. So yeah, like you said, we are so grateful. So thank you. And tell your friends and your family and your pet dog and anyone who is willing to listen to us talk shit about anything on. Yeah. Watch us on TikTok, do stupid videos or YouTube, which is where we are putting a lot of our attention into. Yeah. And if you've made it this far, we want to say thank you for uh this uh the the, the videos and, and things recently that we've kind of tried to push and push and push yeah. um to record and like you said, you've done tons of editing recently, so well done and thank you for thank that. You. But Cheers. um yeah, we've got loads in the barrel like idea wise and we want to keep it going, but like you said, we we need that reason that isn't it's just that us. Final push. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah. Like, like if p- people come to me, and a lot I've had primarily people say, "When's next ghost hunting video coming out?" Yeah. Or what? What did you? Ex- what do you think about this or anything? Like that? It's always the ghost hunting stuff. I think that's not a bad thing. Which I do enjoy. No, I agree. I agree. I do enjoy, but it's really good to like have someone's opinion that. It's it's always positive, I'd say. Mm. I would never say it's like, oh, that's a bit, that's a rubbish video, that one. I've never heard that. No, no. Which I know people are quite nice and would say then, that, but yeah, in person. Yeah, but even the criti- not criticism, the the, pos- Any the positive, is good. Yeah, even C- people who I ask, like, 
how could I improve? It's always like a positive thing. It's always yeah. like, you've done this, but maybe try this. Yeah. Or, you I know, mean, whatever. And we take that on board massively. Like, oh, huge. The first yeah, Morton yeah. Corbett video, uh, one of the... I mean, I, the, a lot of the feedback was it was a dark video. We instantly got some lights. Yeah, we're the trying first to improve thing. that, and and we know, like, we know yeah. it's still not perfect. Like, the, no, I, but again, like, it's it's very much like you said, trial and error. Yeah, and a massive one for me at the minute is microphones and the sound quality. But we're yeah. just not. How do I say this? We're not big enough to fund good, good yeah. quality microphones. No, but I think with what we've got, the ideas and how we do stuff is good enough right now. Yeah, I'm not boasting about that. <clears throat> like, you look, it, go it watch, if, go watch the Adelphi video. It is quite like, if we were big enough and we had, like you said, all the equipment and everything that everyone else does, we'd be fine. To be fair, the video would be no different. No, that's what I mean. To be honest, I completely agree. It, yeah. it would probably be like a bit like, better audio quality. And um, yeah, I, no, I agree, and I completely agree. But the actual style and like what we do wouldn't change. We've got this. It's fine. <laughs> yeah it's we fine got this. we fucking yeah. got this baby it's fine but, but um yeah. yeah um before we sign off i know that was a very long sign off in a way but yeah that's the update we will continue to update you yeah and we'll continue this damn podcast we're on episode 40 baby um yeah i i, I are you okay i mean this in the like yeah i think the last couple of weeks i've i've felt a bit low maybe because of what i said but mm. um i think having like having the changes that I've made to suit me is good. So yeah. and now I've got that in my head. I think you, you, you're going to find more to sort out in yourself. Yeah. Because it, like I said, on, on the new year's one or whatever it was it, like mentally and in your, your brain and stuff, like you're the problem. Mm, definitely. So like fuck, listen to everyone else and sort yourself out is the best way. Like get in your head that you, you, are in your head and you make the calls so you need to do something about it and like you said with you you're the one getting up and doing stuff now yeah like it find, find you don't go you to love. the gym yeah. with the lot with anyone a lot of the time no no i'm just like it's you and, and to be fair i fucking love it at the minute i i'm yeah. i know i said like about the motivation thing that yeah. that's what you've got to find the motivation but and don't overdo it so that you kill your own motivation be disciplined yeah but like, that's, it is you. It's it's me, and and like that's you taking your step now to work towards getting yourself in a place where you can be on a plane, yeah, comfortably. Yeah, that's it. But like, I want to be the one on the other the other end of the call with the doctor, yeah, and say, right, I've got this problem. Is there any way that like? But I'm I'm the one taking that by the balls. I mean, you and have doing to. something like, about I, it. I mean, in this and the nicer way, no, the same yeah. to everyone listening. Yeah. You have to do it. Nobody's yeah. going to do it. No for one else is going to force pills down my throat or, or like get me on a plane or anything like that. No. I've got to do it myself. Yeah. So yeah, you're totally right. One foot in front of the other. So we'll let you know how that goes. But more importantly though, um, it's Champions League final tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Just to plug that quickly. So go and enjoy that because that is the end of the season. That is the last game. Um, and Euros, it's the Euros. Euros start in a few days anyway. So, so yeah. Not a lot to worry about. Mate. Enjoy summer. <laughs> Summer's here now. We're, yeah. we're we've hit hit first of Jan, June, first of June tomorrow. Yeah, first June. Next we're podcast. Becky Hill tomorrow. Yeah, and the next podcast will be a day before your birthday. It will be. Yeah, I will be the glorious age of twenty six. Mm. So maybe we'll do something special. But who knows? All I'm going to sign off is please go watch. Um, we a few weeks ago we had the football video come out. Uh, we've got the ghost hunting with our friends where we go back to Morton Corbett Castle, Will and yep. Danny. Uh, and we do the Estes method, which is a I know a longer video again, but it is fully Estes method. Please, if you are people listening to this, it's from the good stuff. Ghost hunting people, please go watch it. Uh, we are going to do more ghost hunting video, but we might put a pin in ghost hunting for a bit now. We'll probably do another one in a couple of weeks. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, we're going to try and do one ghost hunting video, sort of monthly ish. Yeah, that's the best way of putting it. But we're going to have videos coming out every Wednesday, podcast every Friday, and the new video this week is going to be my running video. Perfect. Mitch's road to 5k. Yeah, and then we're in June. Lovely. And we're in June. Yep. Happy I'll birthday for off. Saturday. N- yeah, next. Next Saturday. We'll yeah. have another podcast for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah that's um, Thank you very much for watching all of these. If you've listened to all of these, if you've watched every video we've done. Yeah, from the bottom of our hearts, we absolutely adore you guys. So thank you very, very much. And we will be here back, f- back next Friday. Yep. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. 40 episodes signed off. Yep. See you next week.